Hello and good day everyone, my name is Sebastian and you're watching The Novice Prospect. Welcome to our new series, it's uh, by, uh, every, t uh, every Tuesday and Thursday, so that's why I call it Sneaky Tea. This uh, series is basically in um, dealing in games that where I will try and use essentially sneak or stealth um, to achieve the game's goals. And the, our first series is going to be Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I mean, come on. It's it, it's got everything I love. Like it's got Vikings. It's it's you know it's got plundering. It's got um, seafaring. It's 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 really good. So yeah, I've played a little bit into the campaign. Um, so I know roughly what we're expecting. But in episode one, what we're going to do basically is we're going through the intro. Right. It's trust me if I do this right. It's gonna be long enough. Um, of a video um, and we're going to quickly go over the options that I've sort of set up um, and yeah I, I do realize I am taxing my VRAM a little bit but it's it's fine I, I have played with this before and it was fine before so um, um, well actually let's go and set this to 60 frames because we can right and that's sort of what I would like to aim for um, and I think I've just sort of, you know, fairly high options, yes, but they, they as I say, should be fine. Yes, we're going to apply those changes. Um, nothing special in control. I have literally not touched any of this. Uh, I am using a controller for this game. And this is sort of one of those games where I tend to rather use a controller, to be honest. So, um, screen shake, finish a camera, all that uh, good stuff. And we're going to leave all this on as well, because it's part of the game, right? Um, I'm not sure. No, I think I like the fairly wide view. So, um, we could do an offset if we wanted to. Um, I actually don't need it. Um, I, I had <laughs> set this up because I was doing NVIDIA Surround, but it was on two screens, and so it helps to have the camera offset. Um, I, I don't want photo mode. I, I really don't like it. Uh, no, 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 that, that, that feels cheaty. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I find the Xbox controller, especially my older 360 controller, the cabled one, the right sticks control are a little bit shoddy, let's say, right? Um, I like my subtitles, so they're on. It's You'll see this in a lot of my games that I play, you will always see um, subtitles. We don't need to boost the dialogue, that'll be fine. Um, was collision sound? The character cannot move further due to any collision obstacles. I don't know. We're gonna put it on and see what it's like. Uh, music frequency. I will, however, turn down the music a little bit in the hopes of not getting a copyright strike with YouTube. Um, I would, however, absolutely recommend playing it with music fairly high up because it is it's a well crafted game and it shows in in everything and that's including the the the, the sound environment and so if you've got like mystic light or voice control from msi you can use it in this game um there's a whole bunch of toby gaming so the the eye capture which you call it eye tracking and head tracking is available and haptic technology. So, you know, the connect the debox, the debox full haptic recliner that will enhance your experience through varying intensities of motion, vibrations, and textures. Now, this sounds interesting, but not something I have. Anyways, let's jump into the game. Um, yes, my previous autosave will be deleted. Um, I, I am trying to feedback on 
world map opportunities and regular information on the compass. More icons will guide you towards your rewards. Opportunities are visible from further away. I sort of like that. Right. And we're going to just play a saga that I'm not here for for a, for a challenge. I'm here for the story time. Um, <clears throat> and the stealth. Well... For less challenging experience, regular guard perception. Let's go one down. Maybe not quite as easy. Because as I say, the, the, the aim of the game is after all to use stealth. And so I don't want to make it too easy on that count. Anyways, we're, we're going to see a bit of cutscenes and all that good stuff. So let's lean back, enjoy the beverage of choice, and enjoy the show. So that brings us right into the beginnings or origins of our main hero or her heroine, Eivor. Tonight, you will be the court and unite our people. I'm so proud of you. Get up, Olaf. Stay lucid, friend. My sword is greedy. I'm ready to fight. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. And you can <laughs> decide to join in the dancing but we've got something to do so let's <laughs> oh no drink in your fist come on i'll find you something i can't i have it sent me for your father oh what a piece that must be worth two sturdy long chips give it here i'll pass it on my father asked me seeker Suit yourself, but you're not getting any mead. Mead. Like a sailor works through my hammer. <laughs> when you speak with the king, hold it up to the light. Show him the fine details. See there? I etched his name in runes on the outer band. 
You'll show him? Mm -hmm. You're just like your father, little Berserker. Skull to you. Skull! You see? She agrees. So I'm just going to go and do the activities as sort of come along the way and playing with the ball. But let's keep going. So we shall. Abel, wait. Skull! Disturbia! The true king of Burgafolga! Tonight, we are all made anew! Skull! Skull. forever I am pledged to you <laughs> hearken well in the hall of kings on ocean steed my words gain wings oh then speed I forth will bring for noble deeds that gonna sing the brave men slain, Valkyria wakes. Rewards for strain to our huddle takes. And horns resound the mighty horn. For those who fight! You, Faber. Not just yet. Yeah, we were sort of. And you could see the writing on the wall. It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of each of the The world tree. Show yourself! 
speak to Valhalla. Sigurd, take the horse. All right, wait here. Now it's my turn to offer you to the slave. Accept your fate. Die a coward here before your people. And I will spare the rest. Fight, my love! Do not listen! If I give my life, will you spare my clan? You have my word. No. No, Varen. No, Varen! Pick up your axe! <laughs> I love the cutscenes in this. So we can either go female or male, or we can say, well, let's uh, we'll present a stronger female or male memory of stream depending on its current strength. So I'm I'm, I'm not entirely sure how this reflects in game, to be honest. Um, but I, I feel we can go with that. Let's let's. So we'll see. How long have you been chasing me, Wolf Kissed? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. The scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. 
Kill the rest of our crew! Make them suffer! Evil Wolf Kiss is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver. Uh, uh, to the ship! Uh. You move, and I take your eyes, you hear me? Okay, we'll see. Wind's blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now what did I just tell you? <laughs> Trust me, that's there. Ooh. And so is that. Uh, I will skin you alive. Uh, you will never, never leave this. Uh, <laughs> no feast for you, Sunan. My crew is in danger. You must be my eyes. And so we're seeing a mechanic back here that we've seen in Odyssey and Origins where we have access to a bird. I think this is a crow, uh, a crow in this case, or raven, whatever floats your, uh, floats your boat. Um, and then you can aim in and, and mark things and you can accelerate with the right trigger. So left trigger for aiming and right trigger just for speeding up a bit. Um, but you know, it's it's a tool to help you traverse um, the environment a little bit better. Um, so and we got what they call Odin Sight in this case, um, but it's the it's this, it's a sort of preternatural preternatural sense that allows you to sort of sense things in your environment even though you may not be actually able to see them right then and there. Um, I'm just quickly going through and see if there's any loot. Oh. Always be looting everything. Like, um, this is nowadays as much a game about stealth as it is about picking the right equipment and the right weapon for the right target and... Um, yeah, the right uh, circumstance. So, oh. um, and then there's the same stealth mechanics that if you're in the bush, you're automatically stealth, um, or stealthed. Sorry. Um, and yeah, so let's let's go on. And so the way, or the reason I said why this video is going to be long in the first place. People may have noticed we haven't even seen the Assassin's Creed logo yet or, you know, Ubisoft Presents or anything like that. And that is basically exactly this. We are playing through the intro before the game even begins. Um, and you can see at the top you have, you know, different sort of way markers or waypoints that you can um, see straight around. That's why I sort of like having that available and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and climb up this um, surveying spot I would like to call it I don't, I don't know what the official name is here right away right away I'll tell you in a second it's like an observation spot but you climb the highest spot Ooh. Anyway, you climb the highest spot that is sort of around you and then there is a trigger to synchronize and it sort of gives you a really good overview on the map as well as you know on your overview on yeah what quests there are uh, what treasures there are you know if there's any dungeons or you know caves I should say <coughs> and where that oath breaker is holding my crew right so we can hit select and then we see our map um, so what's over here There's some wealth there. 
think I'm gonna go on. Have I looked at this? Oh no, it's a picture. Okay, I understand. Someone took a picture there. But there's wealth here as well. So let's uh, place a marker. Okay. And we're gonna do a face jump. Okay, that, sh that should have killed her, by the way. Landing on that stone. Um, but so we've we've got a spot marked out. Attention here. Oh, wrong button. And then with the so you've got the D-pad on your left thumb, and when you press left, you can basically whistle slightly, and that allows you to uh, allows you to basically attract enemies and make them come towards you, and you know it's it's a typical stealth tactic in, in games really. Um, again, they always be looting everything. Um, so yeah, let's keep going towards that waypoint. Um, so let's have a look here. Aid me, be my eyes. And, and the, the nice thing is that once you've tagged something with your raven. Um, I thought it was something there. Um, it actually stays tagged, so I'm going to show you an example of it when I see something like a soldier, or you know, um, one of his men. But it, it seems empty to be honest, so that's, that's fine. So we're going to just go and head straight for that. Uh, oh, I think that's... Yeah, I'm hitting the wrong way. Thought that. So yeah, we're gonna just head towards that waypoint. Um, loot what we can in that little hut. I'm gonna try and not be dead obvious with everything that I'm doing. It seems like this should be someone in here. Um, reach, uh, Ricky Wolf. Uh, prepare the child of Varen for the slavers. You may use the others for your blood sacrifice. Yeah, no, I don't think we're gonna let that happen. So let's loot the chest. Um, also, let's ask a question. Do we have any inventory I could maybe be? Equipping, I, I I doubt it in the beginning. Um, I think it doesn't begin until we get a bit further in that we actually get to equip some items that we either have found or maybe part of the game as a bundle. Oh. Our rations are full. That's fine. There is a no. Trying a. Eh? Okay. I thought there maybe may have been something like a weapons wheel. Stay out of sight. They must be careful now. Have a look, Sunan. So, for example, we have got these guys here. Normally it tags it automatically, but maybe... So there's two guys down there. That I think I'm going to take out first. Um, before we go any further down that way. So, but it's... Actually, it's a... Uh, fairly straightforward. So... Able Wolf Kiss killed a score or more single handed. Ha! Able now tastes the slaver's whip. 
And with Prince Sigurd likely lost at sea, the Ravens will soon be a memory. <laughs> There we go. Hopefully that should have done it. Loot, 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 loot. Always. Um, probably back here a little bit. Okay, back in the bushes. Um, and no, I'm not going to follow that funnel. Because that seems a bit of a... Well, I don't want to say death trap, but death trap. Like it's a, it's kill it's a kill box essentially. And I don't think I want to go down that way. So let's get a bit of a idea of what's going on here. Um, so yeah, it's it's fairly straightforward. We're just going. Um, yeah, if I didn't rescue your crew, we're just gonna head towards the blue marker. We're we'll just. Um, is that something? No, it's just a bit of an environment. Um, so, and there will be situations where I will decide, oh, so stealth, I will just go out swinging axis. Clash of iron. There is fighting nearby. Yeah. This is going to be a friend of ours, I think. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Shotvit tried to sell me off. A mistake he'll regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davals Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship. You glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then, slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, <laughs> I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Gog, I'll meet you by the ship. Well, we are going, we don't need shields. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I may make use of it. So we've started a story arc, battle for the Northern Way, um, and we may as well, because it does actually increase our. Um, yes, it's all fine. Uh, it does increase our defense if we equip a shield. Right, so, um, and to begin with, that's probably a smart idea. Um, and this your shield that we can just hold, but I will try. I'm gonna go. Yeah, because there's different ways I can get in here. So let's have a. So we've got guys there. And so it was, was quite important actually with the Raven, if you get too close, they can actually get spotted and be harassed and that sort of thing. So there's a bit of treasure there. Which I couldn't place a mark on, but really I don't want to. Uh, and this is basically the point, right? So... Um, but if I do this right, Shotvis warriors crawl through Arval's nest like the lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract. Yeah, I had no in intention of using the main gate. Thank you very much. We know it's here, so it's fine. The main just. Gate. Long 
Alright. We're not going straight to the longhouse. I'm going to try and clean out some of these bad guys as well. Um, maybe this is a door? Jet. The door is barred. Okay. Oh, hello. Would you come here a second, please? Sorry. Um, kindly. Um, hey, stop it. Not what I intended. I would have thought... No, I don't want to carry you. Um, that, that was a bit weird. I thought I would have had the assassination, but I may not have that yet because of story arc. And I was just wondering that maybe, possibly, but... No. That would have been nice. Um, I'm sure there's a way into this building. It's gotta be. Right? My rations are full, that's fine. But, like, surely there must be a... Oh, for goodness sakes, really? So that door is barred. Um, oh, window. Window will do. Right, big treasure chest. Always take that. Oh, a carbon ingot. Um, anything else here? Not that I can see, but we can unbar this door now, which is quite cool, I think. Well, I thought that was a thing. Like, I'm sure there's a thing where you can... No, apparently not. Oh well, um, there is more bad guys here. And I feel like I want to take them out first. I really do feel very strongly in that regard. So let's go and try and get some... Get some height, get some overview here. Um, see if anything... Oh, there we go. There's, there's something. I'll do nicely. Um, yeah, I will go and loot him first. Just in case he's. No. Okay. And we're not gonna go just straight in there, like, oh, okay. No, what, what are you doing? Will you get off, please? Okay. So that got a bit messy. Certainly not what I had in mind. And I know there's okay, there's guys inside so I can deal with them in a slightly different fashion. Right, we're gonna go over here. And up and up and up. Climb down. And my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. If I'm to die, I want to make a mess of it, Bucker out. Yeah, we're gonna just <laughs> You coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist! You? But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. 
You just killed yourself, Erki. Don't grant me strength! I will sell you to hell herself! So there's a dodge thing that I should have, could have done. And I will spare your life. Ooh, missed that. Yes. Oh. Oh, that was a beautiful one. to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Take it as some sort of vision. Are you bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh, yes, of course. So let's go and unbind these guys. Um, and it is fairly straightforward. There's that. Listen here. Loot him or that, whatever that was. Now come. We take that anything machine. else here. You do not need to tell us twice. I, I was just checking if there's any other loot that I missed, maybe. And we empty the other house. So yeah, let's That was bad timed. Okay, <laughs> that was slightly dodgy. What do you call it? Um, physics? I mean, seriously dodgy physics. There we go. Star attack. There we go. What's my lead? One finisher. Ooh. And another one. Ooh. Well, they call them stun attacks. I would call them finishers. <laughs> um, oh, I think there was another loot. Right, are you coming with me, guys? We're going to go and kill some more folk. Them all. I'm not caring at this point. Yeah. 
Come on, just finish it off. Right. And there's our long shot. Our long boat. Take command. Do the quest objective and yeah, cinematic camera even. So yeah, I'm, I'm liking this game really a lot. It's the right amount of visceral. Yeah, let's. Let's do a raid here. Okay, Noi. Should be it, unless I'm missing something. So maybe a bit of loot I'm missing. I don't remember quite um, what the requirement is to finish this. Oh, I think that was it. No? Oh, come here, you. Think. No, is there still someone left? Right, are we done now, guys? I think we're done. Right. Have a last quick walk around. No, no, no. Missed something. That's it. Now, that was actually it. So you have to kill everyone on the island. Or within, you know, the settlement that you're raiding. So, cool. Let's go take command. Right, everyone back in. Yeah, let's... Cast off a bit here. Let's turn this boat around a little bit and then open the sail. Let the sail out. Follow the coast and go to the quest objective. And so there was a little raid that we've also done. Awesome. Uh, we'll see about that. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. 
What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. You can actually see the path rendered on the water. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. We attacked Shortvest's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? There's a yeah. thrall who dares sing that verse. It'll be his last song. But, so basically we made it home. And observant people may have noticed that we are sort of 50 minutes into the video and we still haven't seen a single logo. And that is because, well, we're still in the intro. And I'll be honest, you know, it's not like I've made a conscious effort to speedrun this or anything. You know, we're just exploring this as the story goes along. We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Ranvi. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to I will about. fix the frame rate issues by next time because this is actually unacceptable. How are you? Although, possibly, 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 let me investigate quickly if we can, maybe, um, go and sort of come to a medium. It might just be worthwhile me doing that. apply and see what that change is like in Ooh. So it turns out uh, some changes require a restart of the game would have been nice to be informed of that but we shall see um, where we're gonna get dropped off well I mean the equipment looks pretty much like what we had fairly recently um but yeah so I, I, I'm, I'm trying to do this in, in the name of fps um because we were sub 30 then so that's as i say that's unacceptable well, the speeder of ravens returned and not half dead oh well, that's not too bad lost you, Eivor, for good this time a warm welcome as always ranvi you and like the FPS is still what happened? Bad. Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king, he is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. We killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of mine. My feelings. 
Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. So, we're back in control. Um, in it. Um, so we've got a couple of skill points. That's always good. Oh, got more. Um, two seconds. Is there any more? So uh, skills. Let's have a look here. Um, now this skill tree is uh, absolutely mad. I, I am not even kidding. So we'll get a lot of these now, which we could unlock with skill points. And there's no point in going back and I'm going to show you skills because it just going to keep doing that same thing. So we're just going to have to, unfortunately, <clears throat> grin and bear it. Um, but so I was saying that this skill tree is absolute mad, and I mean it. Can we not? Are we not done yet? <sighs> Apparently not. So it really needs to do them all. Oh, for goodness sakes. Um, so. And we can certainly go through the skill tree a little bit and try and understand what's happening. So we've got a node here, which is Raven's Loot, Assassin's Carry, uh, Mounted Archer, Assassin's Slide. So I might, you know, sort of focus on that tree. There is another tree up here, <coughs> which is... Parries, uh, Longship Brace, Slam, Fight Ready, uh, Fearless Leaper, but they, they seem to be, you know, more aggressive melee type things. And then there is another tree down in this corner. Well, that's the middle tree. Um, it's this corner that I was on about, which gives you what's this more like movement things. Loot food, Survival Instinct, um, arrow looter, you know, sort of resource management and traversal, I would say. <coughs> Bless me, pardon me. So, um, you know, that that's that part of the tree. Um, and then in the middle we've got stealth, damage, melee damage, and I think this is just range damage, right? Um, or you can see we're gonna let it uh, be auto assigned. I, hmm, I feel like we want to be doing stealth stuff. So let's go and acquire that damage to all Raven Align gear. Um, now, I don't know what gear I'm going to wear just yet, so we're going to leave that for now. Um, slide. Knock them off balance. Oh, that's, that's maybe... Um, now pick up nearby loot with a quick flick of the wrist. Mm. Light fingered. Um, what else we got? Your Raven Girl's loot from targets killed with ranged attacks. Ooh! Yes. I'll take it. That's that's just pure laziness, but um, and then hold to automatically carry. Um, it's up here, way of the raven gives bonus to all raven line gear again. And assassination damage could be quite helpful. Um, I feel. Let's have a look. What gear we have? So that's raven aligned. I think Raven Clan armor. I think these. This is literally a full set. Somewhere along here, um, there's a fine bearded axe. That's a bear. That's a 
doing the axe. Um, okay, so that's Raven and Lion. We're going to keep that in there. We have uh, the clan braces. And we have the breaches. Um, the shield. Although I, I, I would be sorely tempted to do something like this. Very much so. Okay, but yeah, so we've got fully raven like gear, and I think what I'm going to do with that is attack, stun, block, armor, evasion, less weight. That that all seems nice. Um, to assassinate high level targets with a timing based attack. Um, Raven slowed we have. Um Haunted Archer Light Fingered. There was another one. I could be I don't have enough points for that. Which is fine. Okay, um so we've got a few quests to do. Um yes, next uh, um basically just explains it, but it's really quite simple, you know it has a suggested power we are at power one ourselves um and we're gonna go and go to the sea first that's sort of my plan of attack if you will Eivor, looking rough you are. yeah welcome home thank you thank you thank you but i have things to do um Yeah, we're just going to climb this mountain, find uh, Valka's hut. Um, I'm sure I can just climb this, right? Oh my goodness, it's very <laughs> Mission Impossible here. Um, yeah, keep going up, uh, I'll be fine. Oh, whoa, 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 okay, um, that way should be fine. Yeah, I think I'm back on the path I'm supposed to be on, that's, that's fine. So, cool. Just go along here. Always be looting if you see something, of course. Oh, there's another one. There's something else I missed. There we go. Okay, fair enough. I'm hearing something. It's sort of here, I feel. Is this a hum or something? Oh, it's this. And what do you do with it? You just destroy it and collect it? Apparently. Okay, cool. So, resource gathering, you know, well, resource gathering light, I would say. Um, but certainly, you know, it's, it's. I think that's like for upgrade materials for your weapons and, you know, things like that. Um, I'm sorry, just, just too many to not, not collect them. Good grief. It's all stuff I'm going to need for my um, encounter with the blacksmith anyways, so it helps me along that way. Right, um, why do I feel, okay, well, we're going to just climb here. Yep, 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 oh, I'll drop it, I'll take it, thank you, hitting. Thank you, 
yeah, the upgrades will do that um, once we actually get to the blacksmith, as I said. Yeah, I wasn't going to just jump down there. Um, I may have severely hurt myself, and yeah, I have no intention of dying. Um, going to try to actually keep the dying to an absolute minimum, if possible. But, you know, considering the nature of this channel and the fact that I am a pro uh, novice at almost every game, <laughs> um, you know, chances are I, I may die. Hello, anyone here? It's all very dark, I can't... Ah, hello you. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... Uh... I have come for your advice, on a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come, but she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I... I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf, howling and fierce. And then a figure. A greybeard in a cloak. With a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah. <sighs> The High One, he calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. Oh, well, yeah, what, yeah, what do you prefer? Let's play? see. An elixir to loosen your hugur. ...and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep... ...and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you... ...but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. Well, let's go. And I think this is sort of like a vision quest, if you will. So, and you know, just to note, we're already over the one hour mark and we still haven't seen the game logo or the game studios logo. So let's keep going. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother! When did you arrive? Right, come on. the ace here weaving the web
What's what's happened to Wolfie? Uh, Wolf Wolfie is a bit. I'm I'm glad Wolfie got unstuck again. So. Reminds me of the Fenris Wolf. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. God, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I... I was on a mountain, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threats of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's half slain champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared. The size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I woke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong, or you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. So, yeah, something more to do. Um, fantastic quests next. Uh, going on the blacksmith. Uh, he is that away. Yeah, I'm not going to take a. I'm not going to take a horse along the mountain path. That's a bit. No, just no. So we're just gonna go and climb over the summit here, or you know, at least over the, the sort of peaks here. <clears throat> oh. 
and <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm going through here. Ooh. Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. So little detour. We're going three hundred meters up. Um. I like to always um, get to these synchronization points and use them. Um, makes me a little bit happier to know what's on the map, what's available. If I'm looking for some specifics later on, you know, or, or you look for a resource or a, a certain animal that you need to skin from, it helps to actually have done this part already. Um, no, I was supposed to. Oh my goodness. a panoramic view but I don't see I mean it's gorgeous but I don't see the oh we weren't even close to it yet so yeah that, that happens sometimes that <laughs> I get things wrong on the map or you know in terms of where I think things should be or could be and I'm just getting it all mixed up, but you know, that's fine too. Let's... Oh, going that way. Yeah, I can imagine it's up there, so... So it should be fine to just... go across here, hopefully. Yeah, okay, a little bit dodgy. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure no, no ankles were broken during the ma making of this game. I'm sure. <laughs> Something to pick up. What did I miss there? Oh, cloud berries and more cloud berries. Oh, that's fine. I think they're like medicine or something. Like. So let's climb, climb, climb. If I can, this may just be a non. No, this is a uh, non starter there. Let's. Can we not come across there? No. That really doesn't want to. That's fine. Let's. Yeah, we can only use for now. Um, can we possibly here? I'm sure that's a super easy climb. These just cannot be climbed, that's a little annoying. Okay, that'll do. Up, up, and up, I said. Eivor, listen to me. I'm going up, thank you. Right, fantastic. Now, somewhere, I can jump down and not kill myself, I think. Although not, none of this looks safe, like... Uh-oh. Ow! Yeah, that hurt. I'm sorry about that, Eivor. That, that was really not my intention. Uh, Let's try and get off this mountain. Oh, resources I always take. Um, can I heal myself? Okay, so I don't quite understand. We have a lot of plant material that we... Wait, we've got the materials for that. I would imagine that I can make... Um no, that's a dodge roll. That's a... Okay, I'm a little bit lost on that, but it's fine. Um We're now going five hundred that way. Let's go. Follow road, go to quest objective. 
And let's use the cinematic camera because why not? Um, but yeah, basically going to see that Gunnar guy, you know, our blacksmith, our local blacksmith. And once we have, there'll be a lot more story time. And then we're well, getting really fairly close to actually completing the intro. And I will really have to look at the FPS because this is, yeah, not acceptable in my opinion, but I shall fix it for next episode. Um, yeah, also let me know what you think of the series, you know, if there's anything specific you would want me to do, or if there's a specific path you would want me to traverse along, you know, in terms of character development and all that. Um, please leave a like and subscribe. They are always appreciated. And it helps, you know, the YouTube algorithm to figure out what you guys like and what I should be concentrating on. And yeah, that's that sort of thing. So let's we're now in Fornberg. Um we're looking for the blacksmith. It's right here. Fantastic. Hey Guna. Let, let's talk. Gunner, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. Well, isn't it lucky that we gone and picked up a whole bunch of ingots? Enhancing gear, fantastic. So we have an axe here. Right, that we are going to enhance the quality on, basically. So we're going... So basically we're gaining a rune slot, slightly new appearance, um, and increase the speed after each hit up to 10 times. So that's still there. Um, and there's two more slots for, uh, I would imagine, like improvements or runes or something like that. But yeah, so we've gone and upgraded that axe. That's absolutely great. Um, did we do it? It would make it flawless, and it costs three something. But we don't have the uh, the materials, which is fine. You know, it's that should do it. Anything else? But yeah, we we can certainly do with. Let me see what you offer, please. Um, and so there's a few things we could probably... Oh, I go too early. Go and improve that. <laughs> I, I just feel because I, I actually did get a lot of material. That might be worthwhile improving some of the stuff. Uh, okay, but we don't have any more materials. No, but uh, this is fine. Now I'm uh, gonna holding up. Yeah, work is good, and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. We were together how long? <sighs> Five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate <laughs> weeks. But all that is done. We'll never find my Brunhilde. If 
Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunner. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That is all for now. Return any time. Sure. Not this episode, but probably next episode when we see him in the next story bit. So, and as a matter of fact, let's go and sort of our inventory right now. Uh, so this is fine, yes. And we can now add runes if we wanted to. We have no runes available, but that is fine. I have not equipped that. Now it's equipped. Back. Do we have anything else that... So you can upgrade things just here. Okay. Um... So 53, 53, 54, not enough materials. Um, just making sure everything is equipped that we do have. There is a rune there. Oh, it's a weapons rune. Well, um, is there even access a... Okay. Um, it can't take any runes, I think. Like, I... Yeah, I know I can't. But we can equip a rune here. Can we? Yeah, let, let's let's do that. Why not? An extra 2.4 attack. That's quite good. Right? Gives us more damage. Um, right, I think this is pretty much it for that part. And then let's go and continue on the storyline. Yeah, well, sit, sit down so I can talk to you. Now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. Yeah, let's go and see him. I'll speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stephen. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Githormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go. Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. 
Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Scene. But we're getting very, very close to actually having the intro sequence done. Eivor! Sigurd! <laughs> oh, look at you, blood-soaked drinker! What, have you been worrying without me? Ah, oh, and you, salt-cured vikinger! <laughs> I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just the start. <laughs> Rangvi, my dear wife. Your husband returns, bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes, Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagard, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah. <sighs> Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. There's two assassins if, if I've ever seen some. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the wolf kissed was captured by Kyrtve's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. For that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war so we've unlocked some bonus content. Fair enough. Alright, a bunch of tattoos. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. Mm, By the winter's end, the name quite a few things we got. Will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. Right, where are you going? Thank you. Ooh, we can ride Hearty the wolf. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Where, 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 where is it? Where's, where's horsey? Like, seriously, where's horse? Like, he can change. I'm sure of it. Um, ready to wait. But there's a thing for that. I'm sure of it. But we'll, but we'll get to it. Ah, more cutscenes. Welcome home, uh, father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyrtve and his clan, and how we may end their terror, once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. A major clash coming up. Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River. Raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned. With riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. 
I have something special for you. Yeah, so. It's just, oh, it's just a set spot. Um, we're not going to talk to every single person. Uh, the, the video is long enough as it is with just being in, an intro. So we're going to go straight up and talk to Sigurd. You have scared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. To my first night in Fornburg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringul. Now drink. Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods, you should have let me start. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basin, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. Now, I gift one of these secrets to you, a weapon for the finest warrior I know. Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred tool. Do not tool. make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Don't learn assassination, finally. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. <laughs> this clan of yours, it has a name. Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more. Not here. Where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you Fairly to straightforward. Basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, a blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Excellent. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. A decent attempt. Can do the same from a hidden spot. Take that one down from the ledge. Oh. Okay, you want me to go up to the ledge? Oh. 
Come up this way. Oh, right. No, no, no. That was my mistake. I misunderstood. So, I'm supposed to do this and then do that. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. One of my favorite assassination techniques. And what else? Use your surroundings when possible. Ah, now we're doing this thing. And then the beautiful thing is it actually makes the body disappear as well. And I think that's it. Mentor, does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer her the blade? Surely we have more. Hytham. Hush. You yeah, I'm standing right here. Well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy her gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. They have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is... Get the docks. Another cut sequence or cutscene. I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good, or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Eivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship, our clan, our glory. I missed your brother, your clear head, and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. You flatter me, Wolf Kist. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be at your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. Aurora Borealis. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve, and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest, and return here at first light. Okay. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No, this is wrong. That cannot be right. Ah! Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Shit. Short base warriors. Find the others. So, let's see if there's anything close by. I can see, but maybe, maybe. Oh. Stretch your wings. Hello. They're somewhere here, aren't they? their camp. Like for sure. Uh, 
I don't see anyone. That's a little bit disconcerting, to be honest. Like I would expect. There's somebody. Okay. Okay. So they 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 are standing guard, but it's, this is fine. Right. Where? Going up here. Here, maybe try. Yep, something like this. So we've got one guy there. I'd love to get a headshot. I'll do. And I think there's one more. Ships, warrior supplies, also note visits from Yarls and other important people. Learn what you can and report back to me directly. Kjotve. Well, Kjotve, I'm sorry to say you guys are all dead. Sure, there's a guy somewhere here. I killed. I just can't find his loot. Oh, okay. We are in a rush with this message sort of thing. With each day we wait, Kjotve grows stronger. I see there we, go. we do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. Story time. <laughs> the losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, Father. <coughs> Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Chotve to kill us as we slept. I return the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notfall. That wailing village under Chutve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kjotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send hide them to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you. But this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Well, if anything, we're following your son into a storm. It's we're we're not the bad influence here. It's the other way around. Um, village has supplies. So what? Am I just taking a ship? Apparently so. So we're taking command, and we have how many people? We're off. All right. Okay. No, we have a full complement. That's fine. It looked like it was only two people for the <laughs> for the whole boat. Like, hmm. So we're gonna do the follow course. Yeah, 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 just follow coast. When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kirkbay's end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am. 
home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nochtval from Kurtbe. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid, for they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his death. So can we check our inventory quickly over? Um, right, so there's this whole Berserk kit now, which I really have no interest in. <laughs> like, I'd rather stick to the Raven Clan stuff. Uh, they're all Berserk outfits. There's only two that are raven, so no point there. Um, 650. Yeah, we're gonna just take that one, that makes sense. Right. That's a sort of dead gimme. Um, okay, so... Uh, that's one hand. And then... Uh, that's a berserk. And yeah, we're gonna keep Valen's axe in there, that's fine. Um, this is also gonna be Berserk. Equipment, same as that. Um, and same as the helmet. Hmm. I... Confused. I really am a little bit confused, but it's fine. So we've got uh, settlement tree decoration, settlement decoration. So we've got a few settlement decorations that we can use, you know, once we have a settlement. That's going to not be this episode, but I'll be next episode for sure. Um, but I, I am really surprised there's somewhere is a thing where you can change your animal that you ride. But okay. Um, I would like to see what we can do in terms of skills quickly. We could try maybe go... So what do we have here? We have Arrow Looter. Um, speed boost. Yeah, not so important right now. Uh, that. I would like that, yes, so I can heal myself a bit. Uh, looting food, no. Sprint becomes unstoppable. Wolf line gear, which I don't have an awful lot of. Um, that's also for wolf line gear. What's this guy up here? Range crit chance. Okay, not not so much. Um, right, this, this, this seems like a fun thing to do. Shooting arrows while we're on a horse. Yeah, yeah, why not? Um, and I think you were for... Oh, I'll take it. Assassination damage is always good. And then we'll do a uh, way of the Raven. Um, there we go. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, hey, Lord. I missed having you at my side. How I wish I could have taken you along. Go on, that village. Theavion <clears throat> did not trust fate with both our lives. He had no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. And this is gonna basically, once we've done this bit, it's gonna lead us to the events leading up to the actual, well, finish of the intro. <laughs> um, we'll share a tale. Ah, stories or songs. That's fair enough. Okay, just head straight in. Great. That hurt. 
Will you please heal? No, 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 no. Don't you dare. What? What? Why? Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? No, no, no. We're not doing this. That was a little bit too close, and there's my weapon skill that I was looking for. How, how do you throw this? There's a, there's a way. Kind of that wasn't it. A torch. Throw it in that house. There we go. And let's go and kill us a few bandits or, you know, people in general just. I've always known that two axes are better than one. Right, let's keep going up there. What? Oh. Go and do a heal. Please. Yep. It's not much, but I'll take it. I really need to figure out how to heal myself properly. Oh, not, not currently available because... There we go. I wonder, is there anything else I can do? Cloak, mount, meditate, longship. No, nothing really. Okay, interesting. <coughs> I'm not entirely certain what I'm missing here, to be honest. So I'm missing a supply wagon, so let's have a look. That's been burned. Snow wagon there. Burn that house. Oh. 
Okay. I still have not seen the supply wagon. Um, just having a look around, just in case there's loot I may have missed or not. Okay, none. Still. Is this a supply? No, it's not. Got it. I'll try it. It could be. It could just be the one that I'm missing. Oh, it's gone. No. If it burns. If it burns. Something was burning there. Hurt myself in the process, but. Eh. are going back on the ship. We're not done yet. We're not done yet by a long shot. Find and burn the supply of arms. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Seems truly burnt. I'll try it. Let's go up here for a second. Look. Oh, arrows are always good. Um. Anything in here? really of interest. Um. Okay. Jet, need to get on the other side. Let's see what's in here. There seems to be a bit of looting going on. Oh yeah, I like this. Collect was the book of knowledge. Or a book of knowledge. and okay so that's how you open them by the way <laughs> you just smash them up um, but I still have not found that it's a... it doesn't look like a supply wagon but I'm gonna try it it's not going a lot it's not setting a light This one. Right, this is really confusing, I will be honest. That's it. That was the last one, apparently. Good. Ships are coming. I'll let them. Now we're finally, I think, uh, facing off Kjotve. So we're going that way. Right, and uh, like, yeah, I could, I could be trying to do a sneaky thing here, but you know, the, the truth of the matter is, it's got to be easy enough to just maul them all away. A bunch of axes. Hail Ravenclad! You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. 
I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise king Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harold. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it, for I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I Probably. My support. With my but warriors, can we get on with it? Clan can take Kurtway's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The wandering king will tip our fortunes. Any man who wishes to see the end of Kjotve is a friend of mine. We thank you, King Harald. Your trust in me will be repaid. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kjotve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kjotve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstaldir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florli, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor, give us a hand. Hardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He's either a young fool... ...or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. So we're back in control. Not for very long. Um, I'm going to be splitting a few few more skulls, and then it's story time again. But it's fine. So let's go up here. Got some more skill points. I'm going to ignore them for just now. Get up here. I think we need to go upstairs in here, like, yep, climb the ladders. And Eivor, there we go. You missed the opening act. Kjotve's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. The neighbor may give challenge to Kjotve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kjotve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kjotve should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Yeah. Today my blade must do the work of Skull's sharp scissors, and cut short the court of Kjotve's fate. 
Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Basim, Hytham. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kjotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kjotve yourself. We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kjotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone, but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones. But Chatve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Chatve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. And for anyone that knows the Assassin's Creed series, you can see the pieces falling together. Because obviously the indication here is that Kyotvi is actually a member of the Templars. So we're literally seeing the boss fight in a minute. Sigurd Horson, slink around my walls like a thief in the night. Face me here now. The fight is mine, Kjotve. Sigurd is only here to watch me feed your rennets to my raven. Look at this. <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me. This, this is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang here against the Oathbreaker. I will make you beg as your father begged Wolfkiss. Squeal as your mother squealed. We'll see about that. <clears throat> so, it's a uh, fairly easy. Yours. You are weak, like your father was weak. Oh, I'm sure I've done a good dodge there, but so it's basically a matter of out oh, dodging and weaving, and then additional damage. that for sure. He wasn't going to be caught that easily. And that's it. Kill him. I missed the stun attack, but still a successful kill. Father. Odin. 
What do you want of me? You won your prize, Wolf Kissed. The glory of my death. Ori not happy with him. All for this. Your coward father is empty sacrifice. Heed the price of our war will kissed. The harvest of three dead generations. All their names are known. It all means nothing. No. My clan will not be forgotten! Ooh. I fought as I did. As hard as I did. To survive. For I know what awaits us in the end. Holy darkness. <laughs> Into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorm. His debts repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. And you know, just to make it absolutely clear, you guys, we are now at the over the two hour mark. And yeah, we're still. <laughs> Not finished with the intro. Ooh, helmet, helmet, helmet. Helmet, also Raven Clan, meaning we have this set complete. Can't do that because. Probably because I'm in the middle of combat, so that's fine. Um, there must be. Oh, I'll take it. Give me that lot. Get. Ow, 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 I'm gonna kill you all. Right, actually, never mind all this. And we're just gonna no, open the gate. And push, or pull even, fair enough. Right, and then we just keep pushing forward. Like, yeah, I could go and kill a whole bunch of people here, but... Um, but realistically, we actually don't need to, because we just need to trigger the cutscenes. be another way like surely uh got myself in a little position here no I forgot six okay we are going back this way and then going up and we have a ladder somewhere did someone manage or maybe this 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 looks like a valid value yeah valid entry there we go and we'll just go do the same thing again we're just gonna go and open the gates quickly not the final gate now we're getting gorm oh my goodness there's a lot of people here Yeah, yeah, let me just... These guys are really annoying me. Right, 
Let's get Gorm. There seems to be a hidden entrance maybe I could use. That looks like it. Let's have a look here. Oh, it's up there somewhere. Okay, let's see. Is there another entry somewhere here? Something I've missed. Um... He just took a horse and ran off. Oh well. There we go with that part. And we've, as we've completed the assault on Kjotvis Fortress, so another little milestone achieved. Awesome. Let's... Yeah, yeah. Oh, that cut scene. rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ryavike. A toothless cub may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You are always right. Guthormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. You'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his Alding at Ulrikstadir. Tell him we will come, battle first and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. So, okay. <clears throat> Another time. Let's see what's happening next. <clears throat> and we are... Okay. Let's see, is this on the same... Where are we? We're going there. Um, yeah, we're just going to go and take a horse. Get on it. And go to the quest objective. And yeah, we're gonna just literally just ride straight to Aldrichstadt. Um, get that part of the cutscenes out of the way, and then I think we're pretty much done. We're actually gonna see the logo, the intro logo. <laughs> Imagine that after about two and a half hours, roughly. Yeah. So yeah, but this is the reason why I decided to do the first video as a fairly lengthy one, but at least it's going to be all of this out the way and we can actually get into the actual game in episode 2. Um, but I'm not going to spoil where we're going, it's just that we are not going to be staying in these northern, <laughs> uh, in, in these northern environs, so... I wonder if we did get with that last skill boost. Nope. Still get, didn't. What's with the abilities, maybe? Oh, this, this is. Okay, so there, there's. 
abilities that also come into play later on. Um, let's just get to Ulrich stat. It might just be that it really doesn't start until we have full control of the character after the intro. We just ran through horror filk. Literally not far off, it's you can see it in the distance. And I think this is literally the gate already to Alrex start, so Yep. So that's perfect. Find and speak. I find and speak to Sigurd, yeah. Okay. Thorib, your clan is a foul stench. But we are strong, Ergi. Yes, strong with stink. Step closer, seal face, and say that again. Why am I not seeing my waypoint? It's a bit weird. Your only strength, your stench. I will feed your teeth, wrapped in your tongue, back out. Let's just keep going further to the village. Yeah, well, roughly in the right area here. I do like the fact as well that the background um, speeches or, or voices are kept in the native languages. Gives a really good car or yeah, it feels good in the environment. Um, no, I'm not just going to go and randomly assassinate people. Let's not do that. Um, oh, that may have hurt a little bit. Where is he? Think I meant to go down here. Ow. Well, I had actually do, did have the right place to begin with. On your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorham is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's troops, and Gorham is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one, and see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father, and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, 
There is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, religions hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorm is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. I'll learn another mechanic here. That feels really like a really, really long tutorial. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable. Dismiss. So again, we're holding the down button, and then we can choose to use our cloak. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And it sort of makes sense. You want to be inco inconspicuous, obviously, when you're approaching a target or trying to I wasn't clear, sneak up on someone. Up your hood for the trick to work. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? <laughs> you have to eat something. I mean, I'm in conflict. Okay, apparently that didn't work. You started this, just I would like you to remember that. Right, I was quite happy just try and sneak in there. And you guys had to go and blow my disguise, so. And you were just in my way, I'm, I'm sorry. And there we go. You are her shit. Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I'll give you no trouble. Never mind the four you dead bodies. Just over the cliff. Form, and you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The Alding will have started. I should find Sigurd. Yeah, let's go on. Get the Alding underway. So I would like to finish this episode at some point today. That would be incredibly nice. And you know, as much as I enjoy the Assassin's Creed games, um, it's really that thick, um, but two hour intro time, that is ludicrous. I'm sorry to say, but it really is. Well, two plus hours. Also considering that I didn't actually do everything there is to do. 
like there's certainly still spots that I didn't loot, you know, there's uh, materials that I didn't gather and, and all that sort of thing. So, it is really ludicrous to do that much of an intro. It's a good story, don't get me wrong, I, mean, I like playing. But to spend this amount of time before you even get started, wow, that's just... Yeah, I don't know. Um, it seems a bit much. And there's quite a few games, AAA titles specifically, that I've noticed doing this, so... So we've got another save game right there. That's what the logo in the bottom right means. And more cutscene. Pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours. And we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. <laughs> a vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble girl. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Yuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kurtveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortvi. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bagrat, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjortvi's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? I would send him to hell. ...as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm, and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people... <laughs> ...have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right! Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. 
This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Bjornjar. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. My fate is tied to my brothers. Where Sigurd goes, I follow. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust. And I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Right, so another safe game at this point. Um, another cutscene coming up. And yeah, we're literally heading right into territory now where the logo is going to appear soon ish. Thanks, Ubisoft. Yeah, fingers crossed. You there, what are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. I'm not wanting to talk to you. There's um find and speak to Sigurd yet again. Um I take it he's not on the boat. Nope. No Sigurd there. Um let's I have an idea where it could be. Uh it's not here. Nope. We'll try up in the longhouse. Um, it's Eivor. Open the door. Come in, but keep your voice down. We will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back. The wars will never end. Or they will push us into the Christian way. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kjotve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages. I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father. 
as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Shut this riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave the resources for Sturbjorn. If you object, I understand. Uh, I understand why Sigurd is doing it, so... Riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. So I'm going to take this shortcut here. Can you not? Yeah, I was going to say. Just slide down. Go down to the shore, or you know, the... I don't like the way those soldiers watch me. I find it flat. Yeah, there we go. The wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home. There is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? Yes, let's go. I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. Stirbjorn Jarl, our men were killed as we patrolled nearby, and the word is, Eivor swung the axe. If the dead could speak, what would they say of their deaths, Wolf Kist? They would tell you how they offered us insults, and how I slew them for it. As the dead cannot defend themselves, a bare geld is wanted. Fifty weight of silver for each life. By law. Fifty weight? You will have it from me. A parent must pay the price of his children's folly. That was generous, Lord. Why England? Why throw away all you have for such an uncertain future? Here you could be a king's hero, Eivor. Your name known all across Harold's many kingdoms. No. I'll not be captive to another man's gaudy design. My destiny is my own to weave. Eivor speaks for both of us, father. You gambled your honor, and you lost your family. 
I hope the trade was worth it. Anger and sadness wrestle for my heart, but I am glad you'll leave this place alive. And so we set sail ever westwards. Um, set. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool. Put some muscle into those poles. Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established the hey, hey, hey. coast. We set sail for that. Draghi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far sides, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land. Lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Or Valhalla! And with that, we have actually finished the intro. Three hours, guys. Well, two hours and 50 minutes, but I'm calling that three hours. Um, <laughs> I'm basically just going to wait for the save point to be generated. Um, and that will basically happen out with the Animus, and we will spawn into Layla. Um, you know, the researcher that actually goes and digs up uh, the, the bodies and then does the actual animus trips. Um, but yeah, I would like to thank everyone for sticking in there and well, for sticking it out. You know, this has been a long video and coming. Um, thanks for the attention. Please leave a like and a subscribe if you liked the video. It would be greatly appreciated. Or if you want to see any changes in gameplay, let me know in the comments. And yeah. Thanks for watching and peace out and we are literally just waiting for this cutscene to finish and that is the end of the video. at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? <laughs>